Mnataka kusikia omwami msali ya mudabadi. Mnataka kusikia omwami msali ya mudabadi. Wapi nduru ya MM? Mheshimiwa Wycliffe Musalia Athquake Mudabad. Pigeni makofi jameni. Haya haya haya. Kuna kuna sauti nyororo nyororo hapo. Asante sana wakina mama. Pisero wa mjambo. Mirembe. Muri moyo. Kuri hala. Asante sana. Mimi nakumbuka uwanja hapa. Tulikuja mara nyingi toa mabango kidogo ndugu weka mabango chini weka mabango chini wanataka kuniona pia asante sana sasa tulikuwa tunakuja hapa na rafiki yetu aiwa adongo a very respectable and humble son of huisero tumekuwa hapa na arunga tumekuwa hapa na hata akula. Hata nikaja hapa nikafanya campaign nikitetea ndugu yangu mdogo mheshimiwa Aseka Miradi. Mimi nilikuja kwa sababu watu wa Kuisero tunaheshimiana. Na mimi nataka tuzidi kuheshimiana. Nataka tuzidi kufanya kazi pamoja. Mimi nataka niwaulize tu maswali haya. Kwanza Kwanza tumekuja pamoja chama cha UDA, chama cha Ford Kenya na chama cha ANC kwa sababu sera zetu zinashikana kwa mambo ya kiuchumi vile mheshimiwa maeleza. Tunataka tuweke wa Kenya mbele tutoe wa Kenya kwa hali duni ya kiuchumi tuwainue ili sisi wote tuwe na maisha ya kiheshima tusiwe na wale wana mali zaidi na wale ambao hawana mali tunataka kila mtu ajengeke na hiyo ndio lengo letu kwa hivyo tukasema ikiwa sera zetu zimeungana hakuna haja ya kupotosha wakati kutembea katika njia tofauti tuje pamoja tarehe tisa Mwezi wa August mwaka huu tupige kura kwa round 1 tuamue kama wa Kenya tarehe kumi tujenga serikali ambayo itajenga taifa la Kenya na kuhudumia wa Kenya. Hatutaki uchaguzi wa kurudia. Hatuna pesa za kurudia uchaguzi. Hatuna pesa za kuenda kwa makoti tukipambana mambo yetu. There is no money. Kenyans want services. Kenyans want resources. Kenyans want jobs. Kenyans want to be in hospitals with medicine. Our children must be educated. So we must put the money where it matters. Not kwa uchaguzi. Sasa mimi nimekuja hapa kusema we cannot afford to go backwards. Tarehe 23 wakati nilikuwa na kongamano langu na mimi nataka nieleze watu wa Kuisero ili wajue Siku ile ya earthquake niliambia Kenya hii tarehe 23 nitalipua mchezo wa siasa ambao utakuwa earthquake mtetemeko wa ardhi kwa kisiasa katika Kenya hii Sasa wacha niwaambie hadithi wakati chama cha Kanu ambacho kinaongozwa na Gideon Moi na hata atuoli ni life member wa Kanu wakati Gideon Moi aliita kongamano lake akamwalika Raila Molo Odinga mimi niliheshimu nikasema hiyo ni harusi ya Gideon Moi ya chama cha Kanu yeye ana haki kualika yule rafiki wake ambaye anapenda nikasema sita 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 lakini nitakaa pale wakati Kalonzo aliita kongamano lake yeye akaalika Raila Odinga mimi nikaheshimu hiyo ni harusi yake ana haki kwa kualika marafiki wake. Sasa wakati mimi nilikuwa na kongamano la ANC 
na mimi nikasema ikiwa nyinyi mmewalika marafiki wenu na mimi sasa wacha nialike rafiki yangu William Ruto na kuambia kulikuwa na mtetemeko wa ardhi walitoroka walijaribu kunichagulia marafiki hata aseka miradi alitoroka mimi nataka niwaambie katiba yetu inasema una haki kukuwa na rafiki wako na una haki ya kuzumuza sasa wewe ni nani unataka uchague marafiki wa mudabadi na wewe unataka pia unichagulie maadui na mimi sijui wewe ulikosania wapi na yeye kwani mimi ni mjinga namna gani kwa sababu mmekosana huko na mimi nikosane na huyo mtu wacha bwana wacha huo uongo haya maneno ndio tunakataa watu wasifikiri wanaweza kutupimia hewa katika siasa katika Kenya hii mimi nilisaidia Raila mimi nilisaidia Raila 2007 2017 nikakuwa hata campaign manager wake. Hata ndege yangu hii ndio ilikuwa inambeba akifanya campaign. Na siku muomba hata ndururu hata moja. Tunaelewana. Huyu alisaidia Raila. Hakumuomba hata ndururu. Sasa mimi nashangaa. Huyu mzee anaweka jam mbele. Na yeye hata tusaidia lini? Atoke mbele atoe jam viongozi wengine washike doria tujenge taifa letu wa Kenya waende mbele Hatuwezi mwaka nenda mwaka rudi mwaka nenda mwaka rudi tunasaidia yati kwa sababu ni jirani wacha bwana hata jirani ana mtoto wake anataka pia aende mbele Isiwe mtoto wako peke yake na wewe peke yako Jambo la mwisho kwa sababu ni lazima tuseme Mimi niliingia kwa siasa mwaka wa 1989 Mimi nimekuwa waziri kwa wizara kadhaa paka nimefika kama vice president Mimi nataka niambie kijana wetu wa hapa huyo mzee Mr Atwoli please please Atwoli you did not make me a politician You did not bring me into politics. You have contributed nothing to my successes or my failures. Leave me alone. Haja nichangia. Kama nimepata success ama sijapata success. Jambo la pili. Tafadhali, tafadhali. Jambo la pili na nikimalizia kwa heshima yetu Mr. Atwoli stop hiding behind President Uhuru to abuse people stop hiding behind President Uhuru to abuse people if you are man enough come and abuse me here and face me directly but don't hide behind the president anakanyagia watu wa kuisero anafikiri akiita watu nyumbani ati payane handouts ati that is leadership atwoli my mother died a year ago what is your problem with her let her rest in peace what is wrong with ruto's mother let let her be atwoli respect the women of this country they are mothers they are your daughters they are your sisters They are your grandchildren. Talk like an elder who has something to offer to the community. Don't talk like somebody who has come from Madare. Tumachoka. Machoka. Machoka. Hata mimi nimechoka. Tumachoka. Tumachoka. Asitucheze. Sasa mimi nasema mnaunga Kenya kwanza mkono. Yeah. Kenya kwanza. Yeah. Tutatembea pamoja. Yeah. Tutabadilisha Kenya hii. Yeah. Tutaunganisha wa Kenya. Yeah. 
na tutakataa mtu asifikiri kwa sababu kuna mtu mdogo pale ati atamkanyaga let me tell you the english say the englishman's home is his castle the home of that young man that man in Huisero, hata kama ni nyumba ya nyazi it is his castle and we must respect it tukienda kwa serikali vile wanasema tunataka tuende kwa serikali sikatai but we must go to government while walking with our head high na heshima we cannot go into government on our knees ati tuchapwe tuende pale we are begging to be in government no 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 asante sana sasa nipatie weta naye azunguze na kanoti yuko hapa atazunguza na arunga mheshimiwa they must also say something so that the people of Kisero you must feel liberated in your heart moyo gogo gubohore dui muta sifikiri kwamba sisi tunafungwa miguu ati we are slaves wacha hiyo maneno weta Na wisero mlembe Mlembe hande Muli moyo Watu wetu mnajua Mimi nimekuwa bunge kutoka 